Hey guys, my name is Mitchell here. In today's game, this is uh, World of Warships. We only play for a day or two. This is a tier 3 English uh, UK battleship. So, for those who've never played before, obviously I'm making this for a couple of people too, give them ideas like my brother and Tommy. Um, have a quick watch, guys, if you've never played before. It's actually quite a fun game. So, as I move here, it does take a bit of time, as you can see, I'm moving to the left. It does take a bit of time for every action I do to relay to my engine crew or whatever, apart from my turrets firing. So, obviously, you can see my turrets too if you look at the ship moving as I follow. So, up on my screen, I've got the circles. When they're all the way lit up, or the circles all the way around, that's when they're ready to fire. And that's when they engage my turrets. Take a while. So, if I'm fighting a ship on my right side flank, I really want to stay, keep my right facing towards it. To spin the tarts all the way around takes a ridiculously long time. So with this tier tier three UK ship, I have two tarts direct front, two tarts direct back, and I can have five in total on the side. And um, it's two two gun two barrels per main tart. I'm hoping that later ones will have the three. So playing the battleship, my strategy I want to play two is I want to stay quite far away like a big artillery batter thing try to float I've got the distance um, I do move slow I've got lots of armor and my AA is pretty insane and artillery uh, auxiliary secondary support it's pretty strong when I go melee but however by saying that when I go melee I've got to uh, fight torpedoes and just only takes you know three four or five torpedoes kind of max to, to sink me and um, being this bigger ship, battleship, I move quite slow. See that torpedo's in the water, you can see him tracking. Move quite slow, so I can't only really dodge torpedoes if they get in in the right position. And they, they'll get them and pretty much one-shot me. Um, ideally, I don't want to let them get in that position, as if I'm an okay shot, I should be able to destroy most of these little ships before they come in close. So you can see down the bottom, I just switched to um, the heavy shells, or HE shells which is um, just all initial burst damage, no real dot fire or penetration. AP is more penetration, it's made for bigger battleships with much thicker armor to penetrate through the hole and hit hopefully explosives or something. And the ship where this uh, shell I'm using now, the HE is mainly designed for um, a lot of damage on one-on-one -on -one smaller cruisers. So this is a battleship I'm, I'm attacking here. I've got a decent hit there. Kaki should be out there, Dave. You can see I've got a decent hit there. Now if that was the, uh, the AP shells, that would have done uh, quite a bit more damage and also set that probably on fire and start sinking it, which you've got to use the fire extinguishers for. Now I do actually have a new ability here with this ship, which I've just seen then, which is why. So I haven't tried that yet, so I'm going to give that a go soon. So, decent shot there. So I send one plane up, nice. So the Prince William and later ships probably have more planes on them. So with this big part of this game is you really gotta to aim to where they're gonna be, not where they're going. A big part of like dodging is uh, always slowing down in advance and changing uh, speed and due course. So this is Bam Mind with me, guys. It's only a 1050 um, Ti 2 gigabyte graphics card. So we can imagine with the 1080 what this would look like. This would be quite absolutely insane graphics. I can probably get my graphics quite a bit higher, but it'll affect performance. For me, being almost 30 gaming since the days of Nintendo, uh, graphics isn't a, a must for me. It's more about the game engine and play. So as we can see, that was that match. So that's a bit of um, World of Warships for you guys. That was quite a quick match. I hope you enjoy. Um, and bear with me for some more to come. But as I'm, I'm still learning, I'm doing a bit of uploads on a couple of different games I'm trying at the moment. As I'm trying to branch out to find some new games. But I don't ever want to get stuck with just the one game. Again, like World of Warcraft for 10 years. I, I really kind of want to always um, have my biodiversity of the games I'm going to be playing at a wide range.
But thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and um, give this game a go if you haven't already, because it is an absolutely fun game, especially with a couple scotches or a couple bongs.